What's going on guys, Red Gaming here, and today I've built a deck based off one of the weirdest cards that Yu-Gi-Oh has ever made, and that is Flying Elephant. And why this card is so weird is because of its bizarre effect. So basically, this card's effect is, once per your opponent's turn, if this card would be destroyed by one of your opponent's card effects, it is not destroyed. Once per turn during their end phase, if that effect was applied this turn, apply the following effect. During your next turn, if this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, you win the duel. So basically, for me to get this card to work, to get that win duel, is I have to have my opponent, try to have my opponent try to destroy my flying elephant, end his turn, and then be able to attack directly my next turn for it to work. Which is very difficult, but I figured out a deck and a strategy to do it. So basically, this is basically an Exodia S deck, and the cards that you want to draw that are going to help this effect happen is, for one, your Flying Elephant, you're going to need your Neko Main King, you're going to need Slifer the Sky Dragon, uh, you're going to need Give and Take, Power, and then two copies of Powerful Rebirth. And I'm going to show you in my replay that I'm going to show you the game of gameplay of how this all works in, in the deck and how you're able to defeat your opponent using the bizarre effect of Flying Elephant. But I'll go through the deck um, card by card for right now. And I'll have the uh, deck in the description of this video. So let's do it. So like I explained before, I have Neko Main King. I have Flying Elephant. I have three Royal Magical Libraries. And I have my Slifer and that's all the monsters. Next I have card destruction, I have three upstart goblins, two card demise, two magical mallets, three dark world dealings, three golden bamboo swords, three into the void, one pot of duality, one one day of peace, three of the cursed bamboo swords. I have a pot power of the guardians and I'll explain why I have this card in the deck when I go through my replay. Uh, we have pseudo space, chicken game. Hand Destruction, and then those Trap Cards I spoke about, um, Give and Take, and then Power for Birth. Nothing in the extra deck. So without further ado, I'm going to go through the gameplay and show you how the deck works. Alright. So first things first, I already have Royal Magical Library in my hand, and if anyone uses an uh, Exodia deck knows that Royal Magical Library is huge because each time you use a spell card, it puts a counter on it, and once you get three counters on this card, you get to draw a card. First, I use Chicken Game. I lose a thousand life points, and I'm able to draw a card. Next, I use Dark World Dealings, and I'm going to be able to draw a card, and I'm going to immediately put my Flying Elephant into my graveyard. Then I use Pseudo Space to be able to. Well, first, first I, I put out Pseudo Space, and then I use World Magical's Library because that's my third spell card. Now I'm able to draw another card. Then Pseudo Space allows you to, to um, get any field spell card in your graveyard, banish it, and you're allowed to use that effect. So I'm allowed to take a thousand life points once again and draw another card. Then I use Pot of Duality because I don't special summon this deck at all, so it doesn't really matter. So I can use Pot of Duality. I grab my Cursed Bamboo Sword. I put my Cursed Bamboo Sword out, and then I'm allowed to use Golden Bamboo Sword, which if you have another Bamboo Sword card, sword card out already, excuse me, you can draw two cards, which is huge. And then that's the third spell card I use, so Royal Magical Library goes ahead. Upstar Goblin, give a thousand life points to your opponent. Then I use Hand Destruction, because <clears throat> Hand Destruction allows me to draw two cards while ending your opponent draw two cards also but discard two i put neko main king also in my graveyard which is a, it's important to have all the monsters that i explained slifer neko main slifer neko main and flying elephant to be all in your graveyard before you end your turn they all must be in your graveyard for this to work so i grew i drew another golden bamboo that's another two cards and i drew the one trap card i needed which is give and take so I put that face down, then I use one day apiece, which each of us draw a card. I'll use Into the Void, which if you have if you have three cards or more in your hand, you can draw a card, but by the end of the turn, you can discard your hand, which is fine, because like I said, all the monsters I need need to be in my graveyard 
by the end of my turn anyways. I use Magical Mallet to do a little bit of a reset here. <coughs> First three cards I don't really need at this time. And I drew th three others that are actually important. Then we use a uh, Royal Magical Library once more. I'll use one day a piece. I dump the Bamboo Sword, I don't need it. I use, at, but I do use his effect after dumping First bamboo sword, you're allowed to grab another bamboo sword, so that's another golden. That's two more cards for me. Still waiting on drawing some of them trap cards I needed. Into the void once more. Royal Magical Library, get another card. Freaking game once again, that's a thousand light points again, and then I draw another card. And we got Slifer. But now they have Slifer, I use Dark World Dealings, dump Slifer into my graveyard, and now I have all three of the monsters I said I needed in my graveyard. So now I use Upstart Goblin, draw another card. <coughs> Royal Magical Library, draw another card. We're gonna use Pseudo Space, use its effect, banish Chicken Game, draw another card. And then there's another trap card I need. So now I have Powerful Rebirth, two of them. And then I have Give and Take. I also have Slifer, Neko Main King, and Flying Elephant all in my graveyard. So I need one more card to set up my um, combo my next turn. And that is that Powerful Guardian's um, Equip Spell card. So I just dump my whole hand and boom, just drew it. Now I put it face down and I end my turn. I lose my hand because of Into the Void, which is, I don't really care. It's his turn. He sets and uses Auto Flame Strike, which doesn't really matter. So immediately I use in the in the order of the trap cards matter. I learned. So you use you want to trigger Powerful Rebirth first, and then you want to use your other one once again to reborn. So basically, these cards are going to give you a level four or lower monster, and you can special summon it to your side of the field in attack mode. So you want to use both your powerful rebirths first, trigger them first, grab your Neko, Main King, and Flying Elephant and put it to your side of the field. Then you want to immediately trigger your Give and Take. Give and Take allows you to grab a monster from your graveyard and summon it to your opponent's side of the field in defense mode. So I'm going to give him the Slifer of the Sky Dragon. So it's going to trigger off, Give and Take. You want Slifer to go here first, and why you want Slifer to go on your, your opponent's side of the field first is because his special ability is um, when a monster is normal, special summon to your opponent's side of the field, which is going to be me, um, they lose a 2,000 attack, and then the attack, that monster loses 2,000 attack, then its attack has been reduced to zero, as a result, destroy it. So basically, I'm special summoning both these monsters to my side of the field, in hopes that he's going to trigger off the Slifer effect, which is going to be trying to destroy my monster, which is going to trigger, which is going to trigger Flying Elephant's effect that if somebody's trying to destroy it, which is the first part of the effect. Also, though, what Neko Main's effect is if when your opponent uses a uh, special ability to destroy Neko Main and send it to the graveyard, it automatically ends your opponent's, um, or it automatically ends your opponent's turn. So. He is gonna do his thing here. He does he so he does use the special ability. So he tries to and he uses it twice to try to destroy both my flying elephant, which as we know. Well first he does Neko Main King and my flying elephant, which as we know doesn't destroy it by its effect. Since he sent Neko Main King to the graveyard, it automatically ends his turn. Which then since Slifer the Sky Dragon was special summoned. He must leave the field now because every time Slifer is uh, special summoned, he must leave the field. So now it's my turn. I draw. Why I needed to have Power of the Guardians was because because of Slifer's special ability, Flying Elephant now has zero attack, so I wouldn't be able to inflict damage to my opponent direct attack because he has no attack now. So this is why you need one equip spell card. Doesn't really matter what equip spell. I just chose Power of the Guardian. It doesn't really matter which spell uh, equip spell card you use. I just chose Power of the Guardian because I like that card. And he tries to um, dust tornado, which if he would have probably dust tornado on my Power of the Guardians, I probably would have been screwed here. But he chose for some reason powerful rebirth, thinking that it would get rid of my flying elephant, which it does not. 
So I'll use Power of the Guardians. He's going to attack directly. It's going to give him 500 attack, or 350 attack points, excuse me. And we win the duel. And I've done this a few times, and it's amazing because it's probably going to confuse the living hell of your opponents. Because in all honesty, there's probably not a whole lot of people that know what Flying Elephant is, which is amazing. So, yeah, so that's another one of my weird, wacky, fun decks. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, please give me a like and subscribe. And yeah, thank you for watching.